Good morning once again, and as I see several Buckeyes stream in late, I can only imagine the incredible uh, disappointment you feel in yourself, but don't let that last for too long. You're here, that's the most important thing, but get to your period one destination quickly and quietly. Uh, kudos to Mr. Zalas and Mr. Rempel and the, all of the incredible musicians that were on display last night. What a wonderful, wonderful music concert. We experienced classical music, we experienced a few uh, guitar solos, and everything in between. It was a fantastic event, so congratulations to all of those folks. Well done, as usual. <coughs> Pardon me. A uh, reminder about those of you that might be blocked on the network. Listen carefully, because this, this applies to several of you. You should be unblocked in the next day or two. If you don't know why you were blocked, I can explain, or one of the vice principals can explain, or Mr. Zimmerino can explain, or I'm sure one of your teachers can explain. I'm unblocking everybody, but if you end up on the wrong side of the network again, then there will be some other discussions we need to have. So we realize what's happened. We realize that everyone's been supportive of this process. You will be unblocked, but make sure that you know to be on the right side of the network. In other exciting news, there was a big board meeting last night. So I need to get these two people over in front of the camera. Congratulations to our vice principal, Mr. Jacob. He was appointed the principal of Prince Edward Elementary School last night at the board meeting. So congratulations, Thank Mr. You. Jacob. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thank you. And now. The lovely and talented Ms. Joanne Zahako was appointed <laughs> vice principal of Harold Hatcher Elementary School last Yay. night. Thank you. Thank you. So we are so proud of these two awesome leaders. Coming over to Miles McDonnell will be Ms. Brenna Frith from TCI. She will come over and be our new vice principal. So congratulations to everybody from last night's performance and congrats to Mr. Jacob and Ms. Zahako and Ms. Frith. That is it for me. Over to these illustrious leaders waiting patiently for me to get off the PA. Good morning, Buckeyes! Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, and it's a day one. Attention all Cultural Circle mentors. We will be hosting our Prince Edward School buddies here at lunch today. Meeting place is Jim B. Please leave your period three classes five minutes early to arrive on time to Jim B. Any mentors not able to attend should meet with Ms. McCrindle as soon as possible. Back by popular demand, we will be having a Best Buddies bingo event in the library at lunch on May 8th. If you love bingo and you love prizes, come to the library to have some fun. Attention grade 12 students who are interested in getting a free suit for grad should see Miss Beebe before Thursday this week to register for Suit Up Winnipeg. <laughs> hey Bucks, this is a quick reminder for those of you who haven't heard. Will is having our last meeting tomorrow at lunch, but don't worry, we'll be back in the fall. If you can, please attend this meeting since we'll be discussing some important upcoming events. All open mic performances are asked, performers are asked to attend an important meeting today at lunch in the art room. And in sports news, boys soccer practice is today at 4.30 at Prince Edward. We see the intramural badminton schedule posted outside of Jim A. Intramural games will be played on a first, first come, first serve basis throughout the week. Drop in badminton will run, but any intramural games will be take court priority. With the following Buckeyes, please report to the office Haley Dorset, Abby Lynn, Sia Young, Sarah Ridley, Sherry Lynn Vazina, Alicia Sullen. Luke McMillan and Nicholas Schur. That's, That's all for today, today Bucks. Have, have a great, great day making, making a difference. difference. Did you call my kids? Yes, I did. I did. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs>